What's up everyone and welcome to another special Pokemon X and Y video. Today we're going to be finding every single Mega Stone found in Pokemon X and Y. Now before we can do anything, we're going to need to make a few preparations. Firstly is that you'll have to have defeated the Pokemon League at least once, as most of the Mega Stones can't be found until then. Next, head over to Anastar City, which is where I am right now. It'll be best if you come exactly at 8pm or a few minutes earlier, and you'll see why in just a second. So let's head over and talk to Professor Sycamore. Now, Professor Sycamore here will briefly explain what he believes Mega Stones are, as it's still kind of a mystery of the Kalos region. But he believes that they're special stones that were created when the ultimate weapon was fired off, or I guess Xerneas and Evil Tall fired off some kind of light, and it turned these fire, leaf, and thunder stones into these special sort of stones, or I guess just random stones became Mega Stones with that. And this sort of sundial behind him, or this giant pink structure, shines a light, and it has something to do with it. I honestly don't understand it all of it it's kind of confusing but basically from the hours of 8 to 9 p.m. on your 3ds's time uh, these mega stones will sort of start shining and you'll be able to collect them across the Kalos region so since we were exposed to the legendary Pokemon's energy and the mega ring has absorbed the power of the sundial the two powers have combined and now the mega ring that we have will react to the mega stones so we can use that power to go and find all of the mega stones now a part that I mentioned is very important and that is that the Mega Stones that are scattered throughout the fields of Kalos can only be found from 8 to 9 p.m. on your 3DS time. So the challenge has been set, we have one hour to find all the Mega Stones spread across the Kalos region, so let's get started. Now for this guide I'll be going in the Pokedex order, but we're going to skip the Kanto starters for now, as you can buy their Mega Stones at any time you want in Lumio City. So we're going to get started with Alakazam. We're flying to Shalur City, home of the third gym and the Tower of Mastery, and we're going to make our way to the Reflecting Cave down to the south. Now there's a certain spot in the cave, which you can see here, I believe it is down on the third basement floor, and if we take a look at the mirror, you'll notice a secret entrance behind you. So head down here, and not only will you find the TM for Gyro Ball, but if you keep heading further down the path, you will find the Alakazite. The next one is Gengar, and it's one that you may already have, as it's one of the few that's available to you during your main story quest. Head over to Lavier City, where the Fairy Gym is located, and talk to this... lovely lady here to get the Gengarite. Now let's get the Mega Stone for Kangaskhan. This one is located in the Glittering Cave, right past the area where you can ride on Rhyhorn near Ambret Town. As soon as you enter the cave, head straight and make a right at the first turn, and down this seemingly dead end, you'll find your glimmering Kangaskhanite. The next two stones are going to be the first version exclusives we'll be getting, and they're found in Santa Loon Forest. Head down to this area from the entrance, and you'll notice something shining in the grass. If you're playing Pokemon X, you'll find the Mega Stone for Pinsir, the Pinsirite. And if you're playing Pokemon Y like I am, then you'll find the Mega Stone for Heracross, or the Heracronite. Next, let's fly to Curryway Town and head to the waterfall nearby to find Gyarados' Mega Stone. This is probably one of the easiest ones to spot, as it is right in front of the falls here, and that is going to be the Gyarados Site. The Mega Stone for Aerodactyl is another one that you could have gotten during your main story quest, and it is located in the Fossil Lab over in Ambret Town. All you have to do is talk to the scientist, and you've got yourself the Aerodactylite. Our next Mega Stone is another version exclusive, and it is the one for the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. You'll receive your stone depending on which version you're playing immediately after capturing the mythical creature, and of course you'll get the Mewtwo Knight X in Pokemon X and the Mewtwo Knight Y in Pokemon Y, and the only way to get the other one in your version is to trade in between. Now let's head to Azure Bay right before Coomerine City, the town of the 4th Gym. This is another one that's available during your main story quest, but it's an area that is very easy to miss. But if you head down to it, this nice old man on a tiny island will hand you the Ampharos site, so you can get your fabulous Mega Ampharos. Let's continue the field hunt by going after the Mega Stone for Scizor. Head to the very back of the frozen cavern near Dendamil Town, where we faced off against Team Flare, and you'll find a very sneaky Mr. Obama Snow hiding something behind him. It's the Scizorite. 
Next up, we have a couple more version exclusive stones, but these are sort of special, as the stones are found in the opposite game of where the Pokemon itself can be found. Head on over to this rock in Route 16, and you'll find the Houndoomite in Pokemon Y and the Maynectite in Pokemon X. And I'm saying it's curious because Maynectric himself is found in Pokemon Y, while Houndour is found in Pokemon X. So you'll have to trade if you want to get your Mega Evolutions. Now possibly the strangest spot to find a Mega Stone is here in the Silage City Gym. Just like the previous stones, these are found exclusively in the version opposite of where the Pokemon is found who can use it. So in Pokemon X, you'll find the Tyranitite, and in Pokemon Y, the Agronite. However, Tyranitar, or actually Pupitar, is found in Pokemon Y, while Lairon or Aron is found in Pokemon X. Moving on to the third generation Pokemon, the Blazikenite starts us off, and it can of course be found attached to the Torchic you can download from the Mystery Gift option on the main menu during some time after the game's release. This is the only way that you can get Mega Blaziken, and I'm sure that there will be more Mega Pokemon released through Mystery Gift in the future. The South Boulevard, everybody's favorite Boulevard in Lumios. Anyway, this cafe immediately past the Pokemon Center here is where we first met Diantha all the way back at the beginning of our journey. And if we come back here after defeating the champion, she will be waiting to give you a special gift. Diantha will trade any one of your Pokemon for her Ralts. And this special Ralts will hold the Gardevoirite. Remember Shabonel Castle? Me neither! But this castle in Camphrier Town could finally prove useful, as if we head upstairs we'll notice the Mawalite shining in a corner. Next, let's head back to Lavier City and to this... well... Which seemed to be just for looks, but come back here during Mega Stone Prime Time and you'll find yourself the Medichanite. Now we're taking a trip to the Cave of Emptiness over in Route 22. You may have missed this area completely as you need Waterfall to get down here, but other than a very helpful TM and some trainers, this route also contains the mysterious and quiet... Extremely quiet Cave of Emptiness. Head all the way to the back of this cave and you'll find the Bainatite. The final third generation Pokemon with a Mega Evolution is Absol, and his stone is actually given to you in Kilud City by your rival Serena, after defeating her one last time. Of course, if you're even searching for the other Mega Stones, you should already have the Absolite as it's kind of required, but just in case, here it is! And the final Mega Stone found lying around the Kalos region is here in Victory Road, right by where we fought Serena. You'll need to rock smash away this crumbling wall, and right in front of this tower you'll find the Garchompite. The final two Mega Stones are both given to you within the main story of the game, so there's pretty much no way you could have missed these. The Lucario Knight is held by the Lucario that chooses to battle with you atop the Tower of Mastery against Karina. And the Abomasite is given to you by the Abomasnow you help save from the evil Team Flare in the Frozen Cavern. And that about wraps up all the Mega Stones, but wait, I did forget about the Kanto Starters, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. The first stone you'll get comes attached to the Kanto Starter that you choose at the very beginning of your adventure when you visit Professor Sycamore. If you pick Charmander, you should also know that they'll be holding either the Charizard I X or Charizard I Y, depending on which version you're playing, and the only way to get the opposite one is by trading. However, you can still get the stones for the other two starters you didn't pick by buying them from the Stone Emporium in Lumio City. In my case, I'll be purchasing the Venusaurite and Blastoiseite from this nice gentleman over in the back of the store. Now the price for these Mega Stones will vary depending on how stylish you are in Lumio City, and can go anywhere from 1 million Poké Dollars to just 10,000, which is actually the price that I have them at. If you're wondering how to gain stylishness and lower the price of these Mega Stones, as well as a couple of other rewards here in Lumios, I actually have a video all about how to get stylishness in Lumios, and it'll allow you to get more haircuts, get into the super exclusive boutique, and a couple of other things, so be sure to check out that video in the description. 
Either way, those two will wrap up all of the Mega Stones found in Pokemon X and Y as of the time I'm making this video, but that wraps up all of the Mega Stones available in Pokemon X and Y during the time of making this video. As I mentioned, more may come out through downloadable Wi-Fi events in the future, we're really not sure at this time, but as of the time I'm making this video, those are all of the Mega Stones found throughout the Kalos region, whether it be at the 8 to 9 p.m. prime time or by people handing them to you all around the region. So, that that is going to be it for the locations of all the Mega Stones, but if you're wondering where to actually catch the Pokemon that can use these Mega Stones, or what they look like when they Mega Evolve, or what stats are raised, a video will be coming on that very soon on my channel, so be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you all next time.